Hey right, guys, it is not off, often that uh, I do a commercial endorsement. I'm trying to uh, see if I can get some commercial sponsors for Humpty Dumpty Tribe, but I assure you this, if you guys are not familiar with this, th these things, I had never heard of these things till, uh, till just recently. What this thing is, it is a way to permanently get rid of fossil fuel lighter fluid out of your life. Weber makes them and probably other people do. This one was 16 bucks. They're called chimneys, charcoal chimneys. And, and I refuse to believe this, but I've seen this thing in action. It's unbelievable. What you do is you just put your, what you do is in the bottom, you, you, you just put like two or three loosely crumpled uh, pieces of newspaper. They, they try to sell you these little bullshit starter cubes, which are, of course made of fossil fuels. But you just put two or three crumpled, mildly crumpled up pages of newspaper in the bottom of this thing and then fill it with, put your charcoal in the top and you simply light the newspaper. You, you light the newspaper around the bottom and you walk away. No fossil fuels. You light that son of a bitch one time with uh, with with your lighter, and uh, you walk away, and you come back 15 minutes later, and you have absolutely perfectly even uh, coals ready to start cooking. Since it is summertime in Texas. Good God, let the barbecue season <coughs> begin in Texas. Good Lord. Of course, the uh, you can forever get rid of this. You never need charcoal light again to squirt fossil fuels all over your food. Uh, of course, it is also, uh, it, it is also weed season in Texas. There you go. Kills weeds and the planet to the root. Guaranteed. We have how many? One, two, three, four. We have five varieties of five different kinds of Roundup. This is one Lowe's store. What is this? Is this a thousand, easily 1,000 gallons of Roundup? And this isn't even the main, this isn't even the main uh, aisle. Look, look at this. This, this. this is one and uh, oh, the other thing that I'm doing, you see all this fire ant killer that they are selling here. Of course, it's fire ant season. What you do is, and I've already bought my orange oil. Uh, what you do is, you know that citrus oil, that orange oil. What you do, you take a gallon of water, you put one and a half ounces of orange oil, and then three ounces of any sort of this liquid soap. If soft soap is fine. Uh, Dawn uh, dishwashing detergent's fine. You, you take a, uh, instead of buying all of this damn poison, uh, you get uh, this, that citrus oil, that orange oil, one and a half ounces to three ounces of soap. Mix it in a gallon of water and pour it over the uh, pour it over the uh, the fire ant nest, and you will not need all of this shit. Uh, you're supposed to. There's knockout thirteen dollars for this shit. Uh, now, of course, you're supposed to do it at night when the 
ants are asleep. You just pour the gallon of, of water over the look at this, ortho fire ant grand. All of this is for fire ants. Uh, it, so you're supposed to do it when the ants are asleep. Of course, I'm going to get out there right when the ants are fully awake. I think I have three fire ant nests under my tent. Uh, but I am making my way out of here. Look at this fire ant stuff. It goes on and on and on. Fire ant killers. I've already got my cutters. Anyway, I'm out of here. God, I'm done with my commercial endorsements of Weber charcoal starter soft soap and uh, orange oil. Oh yeah, a friend of mine wanted me to get her a damn flashlight. Now I gotta go find the damn flashlights. No end to this shit. My guys.